thousand dollar price target for Tesla. I'm gonna tell you how we're gonna get there. I'm also gonna let you know what I'm looking for Tesla. Did I buy more? Did I not? I told you Tesla would hit 220 after the earnings, and then you can tell what did it hit today? 220, right? I was expecting a downbeat for earnings. I'm actually expecting more downside. So I'm gonna give you guys some concurrent levels that I'm going with that. We're also gonna talk about the earnings, what Elon Musk said, how Elon Musk said it, how he was saying stuff. They're probably stopping the Mexico stuff, the earnings and so forth. So smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for being here. For the next video, make sure you guys get this video over 50 likes and I'll post another video later today on all the levels, right? I know y'all want levels like on SoFi, AMC, Tattoo Chef, Palantir and so forth. Comment those stocks down below. I'll add them in the next video. But make sure you guys get this video over 50 likes within three hours. I know you guys can do it, okay? So I told you guys Tesla earnings, right? Big day for Tesla. I believe it was gonna crash. I told you guys two scenarios. If it goes up, what I'm looking out for, if it goes down, I'm looking out for what? That 220 to hit. So like the video, let me know. Tesla hit. Comment that in the comment section. Tesla hit. If you see how perfect that was and how I called it perfectly, that's why you never want to miss a video. So we did have that big push down. I told you, if it dropped down in yesterday's video, it's going to continue down for at least two days, okay? This is the first day. What did it do? Continued down, okay? It hit that target around 220. Yes, I will be buying more shares of Tesla before this market closes. I love this, but I also feel Tesla's gonna hit this $200 level. So before we go over all the levels, when I'm looking out for Tesla, it's my number one holding. Let's go over the earnings first, right? So the Wall Street analysts, they had about 16.3, automotive gross profit margins that was uh no the analyst was 17.5 but it came out 60.3 like i said this is the first time tesla missed both on earnings and revenue since 2021 of january over here okay so this is actually very good because we're getting tesla at cheaper prices that's how i see it buying fear selling greed then they were expecting about a 70 cents of, of margin i mean 70 cents profit which actually came out 66 cents, right? So everything came pretty much down. The price cuts were responsible for the decline in profitability as they lowered their prices. The margins got tighter. Everything just kind of got tighter. And then the parts to make all these vehicles are getting more expensive, right? So margins are getting slower and slower, but they did have like a billion dollars in cash flow. Cash flow is a key thing, which is good. And especially in these hard markets with interest rates going up through the roof, they're actually doing pretty good with all the stuff that's going on, right? So imagine when interest rates starts coming down, Tesla's gonna start what? Shoop. And I'm going to tell you guys how we're going to get to that thousand dollar price target. Also, how Elon Musk was saying stuff brought this down even more. Right. It was dropping after hours and after hours. It was like this. And then it just start zoop, it start going down. Right. Because how of Elon Musk was saying stuff, he seems very scared. He seems very nervous of what's going to happen with the markets, interest rates and so forth. He's slowing down the Mexico um, gigafactor that they were going to do. He's stopping that because it's just uncertainty, which is smart. Right. That's what you want the CEO of a company to do to manage the company. They're also investing investing a lot in future of Tesla as well, which is good. I think that's about I think they're investing like two billion every quarter for the future. FSD and so forth. Right. FSD is going to be very big. The Cybertruck, I think, is supposed to come out like November 30th, but that won't be profitable for like another two years, which is OK. Right. It's hard to make a profitable company. There has not been a profitable company ever for the last past hundred years until Tesla, right? No other company is profitable, especially in the electric vehicle space, right? Tesla is that number one, but Tesla has so much other stuff. They got solar, FSD, so much other stuff, right? So that was all the earnings on Tesla. Now let's go over the levels, okay? So 220 did hit, right? So I'll be buying shares before market closes. I'm also looking for a big call option play, but I don't think I'm gonna do that until we get to about $200. So this is one level I was looking at. $200 is the next level that I'm looking at for Tesla, right? So let's take this $200 to 220 level off. That has already hit, right? So we don't have to talk about that anymore. We have a support level. Be mindful that we could see a little bounce off of. I'm gonna put like around, I'm gonna say around 217. Let's watch support, okay? Because we did have a big drop. I do believe it's gonna continue, but Tesla will also have a smaller rebound, right? Unless it just crashes every day. Tesla will also have a smaller rebound that might come around here, just like a smaller something that might retrace it back up. But I think it's overall going to keep crashing to the downward side. That's why it says urgent for investors. So we got the downside right now. Now, why I believe Tesla will go to $1,000 of a price target, which I think is very low. Some people are saying $1,400, $2,000. I think $1,000, that's a five times from where we are. So we have support here. We got the next target price where I think Tesla will go down to around $200. And then we could put a smaller resistance I'll probably put resistance around like 227. So we can watch that. 
let's put that on there. So those are your concurrent levels for right now. Yes, I buy more shares before the, uh, the market closes on Tesla stock, my number one holding. I like how it crashes. Like I said, I buy in fear. You make your money on the buy, not the sell. Remember, make sure you get this video over 50 likes if you want another video today on all the key levels. So these are the concurrent levels I see right now for Tesla, right? Everything so far has gone expectedly. Shorter term plays, I'm just seeing Tesla crash. So probably every day, I'll just look for more puts, right? Just trying to pull. Unless we build that support on Tesla, where well, we might get a rebound. Like how we build support here, we got rebound. How we build support here, rebound. Build support here, rebound. Be mindful of that too, because that could come somewhere in this area down here, unless it just crashes right through that. So be mindful of that. But Tesla price target of $1,000. One, they're the only profitable company of electrics, right? Can't nobody do it like them. The Cybertruck is going to take a lot of market share from Rivian and Ford, right? Rivian shines on their uh, pickup trucks. Ford shines on their Ford Lightning. Once Tesla comes out with that type of pickup truck, that's going to take a lot of market share from that. Boom, that's going to be profitable. FSD is going to be big. Solar, everything they're doing is going to be big. I think they'll be at $1,000. I think I'm going to give it about five years, okay? So five years up to that uh, price level. That's about five times. So I'm going to have a price target 2027, probably before though. So that's about four years of a $1,000 price target. 2025. I got a price target of about 380 to 400. Okay, so if you compound that, let's just do some math real quick, right? Real quick, real quick, real quick. Let's do some math because when you have price targets like that, you want to compound it per year. The average the market brings, I would say, is about eight to 10 per year. $1,000 over four years, that's 360% gain per year. So if you time, if you divide that by four, you're looking at about a what? Let's do quick math. Blah, blah, blah. Probably about 80 to 90 percent per year compounded. So you're almost doubling your account per year with that thousand dollar price target. So let me know if you guys I think I'm gonna start posting more videos on Tesla as it is my number one holding. And I can pretty much call it of where it's going to go. Remember, none of this financial advice. Thank you guys for watching the video. Follow me on Instagram. Will Donalis. Please make sure it's the right one. This is my only one. Go like some videos, share it and etc. Then always remember, no segregation of ours. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one. And today we even did about a 18 percent gain on um, some put options today. As you guys know, I scout put options every morning to bring consistent profits. So make sure you join the team. All the links are down below.